Hola, vlog number nine. Why am I this excited? Who knows? I will answer that shortly, but um, this is going to be a huge change, and um, I'm going to try to keep it short, but uh, it's going to be a huge change for the whole pickup thing I used to do. Used to, yeah, you heard me, used to. So, um, a couple days ago, well, it's been going on for more than a couple days, but uh, I, I, I saw this uh, pretty cute girl. Um, she's been liking a lot of my posts on Instagram, and I noticed that. So what I did was like, um, I was like, I, I noticed that, and I was like, huh, what's going on over here? And she's also been liking some of my Facebook stuff too. So I'm like, hmm, what is going on over here? So I posted the report on um, on the SP uh, SP Facebook. Uh, Facebook, ah, Facebook form. I'm sorry, I can't speak right now because I'm so emotionally just spiked up. Um, but uh, but what happened was uh, I posted it once, no one responded, and then I posted it again like a couple days afterwards, and then uh, someone finally said you should um, DM her this, and I did, and um, I got her number. So we started talking and talking, and then um. I, what I noticed is she is really into me, so I was like, okay, let's set up a date, and uh, we did. It was yesterday. Um, I uh, We met up at Starbucks. We had coffee. Well, I had coffee. She had tea, and but we ended up staying there for two hours, just talking, just talking and talking, and it was like the best thing. I could be myself. She, she even said she could be herself, too, and not like some fake girl or uh, vice versa for me, not being some fake dude, you know, just to impress her. But, uh, overall, I loved it. She loved it. We already set up another date. Um, this coming Friday, we're gonna go to the Trail of Lights, and then we're gonna go watch a movie. Um, and when I came back, I confronted my parents to about it, which I was surprised that they're totally fine with it. They were okay with it and stuff. They kind of made it kind of awkward, but they're fine with it, and, um... That's the moment I realized I need to give up pickup so that I could pursue this girl because one she is really cute Two, she's really into me. She loves me for who I am and Three she is really funny. She is so funny um, We've been texting back and forth to each other. We gave our, ourselves nicks and nicknames and um, cute little messages but uh Overall, I, I am starting to like this girl a lot. Um, today, we finally exchanged our Snapchat username, and we've been Snapchatting. And, my God, she just is just stunning. I, I just, I can't tell you anything else about it. But, um, which brings me to a good point. If you see an opportunity, if you see opportunities like this, like, uh, you see, like, girls just, no you just notice this, like, one girl who's been paying attention to you a lot, Take the chances out of your day. Take take time out of your day and take the chances. You might not know what happened. Um, I even got a response from um, from this guy who said like uh, it led him to a huge disappointment. Hey, it, that might happen. That's that's the this is life. That's what you gotta gamble with, you know. But you just gotta take chances sometimes. Cause if you let that opportunity slip, you might not know what happened. I mean, this girl. She, I, I, when I first saw her, I honestly, I had so many judgmental stuff about her. One, she was way too attractive. I thought she was, like, one of those girls who, like, um, doesn't talk with anyone other than, like, attractive people. Two, she was just, like, you know, we didn't talk that much at that, uh, at that time, but I thought she was, like, a jerk or something like that. But after we got to know each other, she is just, like literally the counterpart of me well not really the counterpart but she's like way funnier and way cooler she can sing she can speak arabic i mean i was like what she's she's just awesome just she, she's just so you know she's, she's awesome i can't i don't know anything else to tell about you tell about her but she's just amazing she's an amazing person she is um funny she's really funny um and she's really funny doing sarcasm. She's, oh my god. But, uh, I just wanted to inform you guys, just don't, like, let your opportunities slip. And you can also see the smile on my face that Justin always talks about, uh, when I am, like, just talking about something that makes me really happy. And this really makes me happy. So, 
Thank you, Justin. Thank you, everyone else. But um, one thing for sure, once you do get picking up, and you once you have made good friends when doing picking up, don't let them go. I honestly, honestly, I want to do another podcast with Justin. I honestly want to go hang out with him sometimes because without him, I wouldn't be here right now. He has helped me so much. He's a really good guy. But I mean, I mean. Maybe you might have someone who's like that too, like Justin. But um, don't let your let your friends go just because you found a girlfriend. That doesn't. That's not how it's supposed to be. You know, J- just because you have a girlfriend doesn't mean you want to cut off people. It means you want to appreciate those people a lot because they helped you get there. So thank you, Justin. Thank you a lot. I appreciate it. I know in the last podcast we talked about this, but I am really sorry. I couldn't let the opportunity slip. I just had to because she was so cute. But I'll see you guys later. Later.